While Americans typically associate deer with whitetail, blacktail, or mule deer, the deer family actually includes a broader range of species that includes elk, reindeer, and moose. With subspecies included, North America is home to approximately 58 species of deer. Not surprisingly, the largest members of the deer family are moose. The hunting grounds of North America are some of the best in the world and numerous remarkable specimens have been harvested and recorded here over the years. Our list will break down the 15 largest deer ever documented in the United States, representing various species. Whenever possible, we will include the backstory behind each hunt. To create this list, we reference sources from various record-keeping sites, as well as publications highlighting significant achievements. Every effort was made to ensure that each record took place in the United States, although some lack specific narratives or descriptions, particularly the blacktail deer entries. Additionally, each record's title includes information such as the hunter's name and most common trophy metric, often measured in inches. Agree with this? Hit the thumbs up button bellwow. Disagree? Let us know in the comments with what you'd change. Whitetail deer. Whitetails are among the most common species in the United States. Whitetail deer are probably the most ubiquitous deer in the United States. Their range extends across most of the country, and in many cases, they have interbred with the other species, mule and blacktail creating hybrids around species borders. 1. David Beckman The largest white-tailed deer ever bagged in the United States was recorded in November 1981 by a hunter named David Beckman in Missouri. Beckman noticed a dead deer on the side of the road, within someone's property limits, and asked to take it home. The owners let him, and when it was officially measured, it caused an uproar. The rock weighed more than 11 pounds, and the situation surrounding it was strange. People fought the new record-holding ruling. Some claim this was a pen-raised buck, but it was still accepted by authorities and is now on display in the Missouri Department of Conservation. 2. Dick Idle Dick Idle bagged what is today known as the Hole in the Horn Buck in 1940 in the state of Ohio. Idle got a tip from a collector that there was a massive whitetail hanging around Kent and ended up buying it. It was originally found after a train hit the deer. The nickname came from a debate about a hole in the antlers, with some saying it was from a piece of fencing that it had become stuck in, while others claimed it was drilled by a manager who was trying to keep it straight when it was hung on a wall, hence the hole. 3. Luke Brewster Known as the Brewster Buck, the original name for the buck was Mufasa, after the Lion King. In 2017, Mufasa had a reputation as being a massive trophy and was almost killed before an arrow was deflected by a branch. Eventually, Brewster, using a bow, brought down the buck and realized it was a record holder. Even today, the Brewster buck is recognized by Boone and Crockett as the largest hunter-killed whitetail and by Pope and Young as the world record non-typical whitetail. Mule deer. Mule deer live in the western half of the United States. Mule deer are indigenous to western North America and get their name from their ears, which look like a mule. Technically, two mule deer subspecies are grouped under black-tailed deer. On average, Mule deer are larger bodied than white tailed deer but have many similar features. 1. Doug Burris Jr. During something known as the Poor Boy Trip, Doug Burris and his friends left San Antonio, headed to Colorado, and left on foot for a bit of hunting. Using a rattle, Doug attempted to bring in a mule, Muley, eventually passing on at least six before day four came around. Finally, through the rain, he spotted his target. Accidentally spooking the buck, he shouldered his point to six four and fired, bringing the deer down. Months later, he got a call from his taxidermist, Ed, telling him, 
I think your buck may be the best typical ever taken. Turns out it was. Two, a non-Wyoming. Little is known about the buck from Hoboat Canyon, a location just south of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It was killed in 1925 for meat, and the head was left behind. This wasn't trophy hunting, this was survival. Eventually, a ranch hand found the rack and brought it to a saloon, hanging it. Eventually, it was measured, coming in as the largest typical ever recorded at that time. It's still on display in the Jackson Hole Museum. 3. Steve Stainer Steve Stainer happened upon a record-breaking Arizona buck in 1994 while looking for deer in Coconino County. When he thought he saw a white towel, he made his way over, only to find it was the bones of a massive mule deer. From the evidence, a mountain lion had killed it. Taking the rack back to his dad, a Boone and Crockett recorder, how lucky can you get? The tape showed that the buck was a record breaker. Blacktail deer. There are two species of blacktail deer, Columbia and Sitka. Blacktail deer are technically related to mule deer, but are usually split into two categories, Sitka and Columbia. Between them, Columbia are slightly larger and range from Northern California up through Washington. Sitka are smaller and range from British Columbia up through Southern Alaska. We tried to incorporate both into this list. 1. Lester H. Miller Lester Miller has one of the most famous stories around when it comes to blacktail deer. After accidentally coming face-to-face -face with a massive buck in Washington, Miller knew that it was his life's goal to find and bag the trophy. It took four years. Eventually, Miller had his chance. Tracking his buck, he took his shot from 80 yards away, dropping the animal instantly. 2. William Steele The largest non-typical Sitka deer ever recorded was taken on Prince of Wales Island, southeast Alaska in 1987. 3. Charles Hikari While no story exists for Charles Hikari's trophy, he is listed on the Pope and Young records as having the largest Sitka blacktail ever taken. Moose Moose, while not commonly viewed as deer, are scientifically part of the deer family. In fact, they are the largest species of the family, not just in North America, but all over the world. 1. The Rex J. Nick After an extended period in a certain part of Alaska where no hunting was allowed for conservation efforts, the borders were finally open. Rex J. Nick went out hunting near Pilot Station on Game Management Unit 18, near the Lower Yukon River, in 2010, armed with a .300 Winchester Magnum. He dropped the moose from 65 yards away at 7.30 p.m. The extended moratorium on hunting allowed the region to drastically improve its stock, resulting in the largest moose ever taken. 2. Eric Arnett one of the largest moose ever recorded was shot in Alaska in 2004 by a hunter named Eric Arnett. It took 40 minutes to take the moose down, eventually dropping at 50 yards with the help of a .338. The extreme remoteness of the location made the return hell. It weighed 2,300 pounds, but the team had a record on their hands. 3. Jack Francis Nelson For maybe the cutest story on the list, we have Jack Francis Nelson. Nelson took down one of the largest bull moose ever recorded, and he was only 10 years old. His dad helped him track and shoot the moose, giving him detailed instructions the entire time. Elk. Elk are the second largest members of the deer family, right behind moose. They are sometimes known as Wapiti from the native Shawnee and Cree word, which translates to white rump. They primarily live in North America, although a population does exist in East and Central Asia. 1. Denny Ousted The largest elk ever taken was known as the Spider Bull. The elk was taken in Utah by a hunter named Denny Ousted, who bought a governor's tag for over six figures, ultimately tracking the bull for months. His first shot, he missed and ended up almost dying in his trailer from carbon monoxide poisoning. Finally, however, he landed a shot at 180 yards. 
It was so big people thought it had escaped from a game farm. 2. Alonzo Winters Alonzo Winters landed a massive bowl in 1968 when he dropped what is now the typical world record with a savage Model 99. The rack was taken home and hung in a garage until his passing. When his sister was transporting the rack in her truck, an antler buyer, Alan Ellsworth, saw the rack in the car and followed it. He asked to buy it, then took it to get measured, officially discovering just how massive it was. 3. John Plute Before Alon's winters, the John Plute Bull was the largest typical elk record ever. But back in 1899, hunters weren't bagging for trophies, they were bagging to eat. Plute killed the bull, leaving the antlers and taking the meat, eventually bragging about just how big it was to his buddies. They didn't believe him, so back he trekked for proof. He found it right where he left it. 